Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today I'm going to talk about Cisco Router Basics. And the topic is going to be Gateway of Last Resort. I have a network here in uh, Packet Tracer. It includes two PCs, uh, two switches, and two routers. If you notice, we have the PCs, PC0 on the left side and PC1 on the right side. Connecting to the PCs, we have switches and then we have routers, two routers in this. Uh, the PCs are uh, going to have network. The first one, first network here is network 5.0.0.0. It's a class A network, so the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0. Then we have a second network, which is connecting uh, the two routers together using a serial line, and that's going to be 10.0.0.0. Then we have a third network connecting that last PC to the router. That's going to be network. 1.5 or 15.0.0.0. Now you can see we've configured the first PC with uh, 5.0.0.2, subnet mask again 255.0.0.0, and then our default gateway is going to be 5.0.0.1. Default gateway is the first router the PC is connected to. All the IP traffic packets are all going to be sent to that first router. So the default gateway has that IP address on that router. 5.0.0.1. So if we look at the router, you can see that that Ethernet connection, FA0 slash 0, has that IP address, 5.0.0.1. Now the traffic moving out of this router is going to go onto a serial line. So we have a serial port, SE0 slash 1 slash 0, and that IP address has been configured to a new network address, 10.0.0.1. Now on the other side of this serial line, we're connected to a second router. Uh, again, we have a serial SE0 slash 1 slash 0, and that IP address is going to be 10.0.0.2. So we've got two IP addresses in this network, 10,000 or 10.0.0.0, and it's 1 and 2. Our third network, which is 15.0.0.0, uh, starts off on this uh, side of the router with a fast Ethernet port, uh, 0 slash 0, and we're going to use that first IP address of that range 15.0.0.1 and then the second IP address would be assigned to this uh, PC that's going to be 15.0.0.0.2 with again a class A subnet mask at 255.0.0.0 and then his gateway will be that port connected to that PC the first port on that router which is the 15.0.0.1 so all the network traffic, all the packets that this PC is going to be creating are going to be sent to its default gateway, which is that port on that, on that router, that first port it comes to. Now, we're talking about gateway of last resort. Now, the gateway of last resort is set in each one of these routers. For the first router 0, its gateway of last resort is going to be this port right here, 10.0.0.2 on this serial port. So that's the first port that this router comes to. So all of his traffic is going to be coming from that PC through the router and then going to the second router. But the same is going to be for the second router. The second router's gateway of last resort is going to be the first router that it sends us traffic to. So all the traffic coming from PC1 coming to the router is going to be moving to this router here which is going to have S, its serial port 10.0.0.1 to be its gateway of last resort for router number two. So you can see each one of these routers is like they have their own default gateway and it becomes the, the port that they're connected to on, those, on, the, on the subsequent router. So down below here you can see uh, you need to configure each PC and here we're configuring IP version 4 on the PC and we would go to its uh, properties for uh, its network uh, card or its NIC and we'd be setting the IP address uh, 5.0.0.2 and the subnet mask 255.0.0.0 and its gateway again 5.0.0.1 which is the router which it's connected to. Now if you're fortunate to not have Packet Tracer you can go ahead and go into Packet Tracer click on the desktop and then click on IP configuration and again, it's a pretty simple thing just to set that in, in network or a packet tracer. Now for router zero, we've got two ports that we've uh, turned on and configured. We have the fast Ethernet port, which is connected to the PC. And you can see that we have assigned IP address 5.0.0.1 and 
the uh, Class A subnet mask 255.0.0.0. We've turned that port on and then we've gone to the serial port and we've also signed an IP address on the serial port and that's 10.0.0.1 again class A IP address so we're using the subnet mask 255.0.0.0 so these two ports are configured on router number 0 router 1 we've also configured this, the other end of that serial port which is going to be 10.0.0.2 and then on the other side is the uh, fast ethernet and that's going to be a new network 15.0.0.1 subnet mask 255.0.0.0 turn both ports on you can see we got green lights uh, if we if we call up our routing table on router 1 you can see right now we the gateway of last resort is not set so when traffic moves to this router this router is not going to have uh, a network besides 5 and 10 so if it's receiving traffic for uh, network 15, it's not going to know what to do with it. It won't know to send it to this router, which is connected to, to uh, this new network 15. Right now it has two connections. It has network 5000 and network 10,000 or 10.0.0.0. So the two networks that it's connected to directly are 5 and 10. It really can't see 15, so it doesn't know where to move that traffic. If we set the gateway of last resort, we'll set it with all zero. So any IP traffic coming in with any IP address will automatically go to its gateway of last resort, which is the next router. Now, if we try to ping from PC0, uh, 15.0.0.2, which is the PC IP address over here, you can see that we do not get any returns. It says destination host unreachable. It really doesn't know what to do with that traffic. It'll try to send it up to this uh, router here, but this router has no idea where that, where that network is, so it doesn't know to forward uh, that traffic to the next router. IP routing table in the router 0. Uh, again, you can see the gateway of the last resort is not set. It does have two networks connected to it, but uh, we're trying to reach 15, and it's not in its routing table. Uh, command line interface CLI IP route command for router 0 if we go ahead and set a new IP route this is like setting a static route but we're gonna work it's gonna apply it to the gateway of last resort if we use this uh, IP route command in our configuration router config we're gonna set uh, four zeros 0.0.0.0 0 .0 .0 .0 .0, then a space and for our subnet mask it's gonna be 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 again so any IP address with any subnet mask will move to this port here, 10.0.0.2. Now that port just happens to be the port of the next router, which our router 0 is connected to. And so it's the first port on router 1 that is connected to router 0. So any traffic, any traffic, no matter what that IP address is, could be 15 or could be anything, is going to move to this port on the second router. So all the traffic is going to be routed to this, what we call, gateway of last resort. It's like a default gateway for this router. Just like on a PC, all the traffic's moving to the router. This router's default or gateway of last resort now is going to be this router. So we're going to have to do the same thing on the other router. But let's look at the routing table now on router 0 after we've set that. And now we have a gateway of last resort. Gateway of last resort is 10 dot zero dot zero dot two which is going to be the the port right here is that first port of this of the second router so all the traffic or gateway of last resort is going to go to that port so no matter what the ip addresses are that's where that traffic will move to and you can see we've got now the two connected uh networks 5000 and 10,000. but now we have a new static route uh, all zeros and it's going to be via that port. So our routing table now reflects a new route and it's going to take all traffic no matter what it is and move it to that port. And on router 1 we're going to do the same command 0.0.0.0 uh, .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 with space uh, and then for the subnet mask 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 but the port now is going to be that first port on the router it's connected to going the other direction and that's that 10.0.0.1. So now we've set a new IP route 
uh, and this is going to be like a static route, but we're going to, it's going to end up being the gateway of last resort because it's taking any IP packets or any IP traffic and moving it uh, to that port. And the router one routing table, if you take a look at it, we're going to get the gateway of last resort set, and it's going to be routing traffic to 10.0.0.1. And it's any traffic at all, so the network is all zeros. And you can see we have a new uh, static uh, route down here for that gateway of last resort. So all traffic is going to go to this uh, port 10.0.0.1. So now if we ping from our PC 0 to PC 1, and we're going to ping PC 1's IP address 15.0.0.2, our ping is successful. All four pings are received and returned. So we get 100%. Uh, that's pretty much it for Gateway of Last Resort. We, we set that with all zeros, and it's just like a, uh, a default gateway, or we call it the Gateway of Last Resort. So all traffic is moving uh, from one router to the other. So this is, all we've, this is it for uh, Gateway of Last Resort. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll try to make some more.